New legislation has been introduced in California, the SB 1538 law, which requires breast imagers to inform patients whether they have dense breasts as seen on mammography. The law will require any facility that performs mammography to communicate breast density to patients if their breasts are considered heterogeneously dense or extremely dense on a mammogram. Now that doesn't mean you have cancer. It doesn't mean that you have to rush out and see your doctor. It's just giving you information about your body. Kind of like you have dark hair or you have light hair. Breast density is a mammographic term. It's a way that the radiologist perceives the composition of the breast. So breasts are made up of fat and fibroglandular connective tissue. Fat looks dark or dark gray on a mammogram and fibroglandular and connective tissue looks white on a mammogram. So why is it hard to see breast cancer in dense breast? Well, cancer's white and if the breast is dense, it's gonna be white too. So it's like a polar bear in a snowstorm and it's hard to see. On the other hand, we can still see masses and we can see calcium particles inside the breast on a mammogram. So don't stop getting your mammograms. Many women who will receive this note have absolutely nothing wrong with them. And it's very important to note that. In fact, the vast majority of women who will receive this note will have absolutely no cancer present at the time that the imaging is done. Dense breast tissue doesn't mean that you're gonna get breast cancer. And in fact, the dense breast tissue itself is only a very small risk factor. If a first degree family member, like a mother or sister or daughter has had breast cancer, if a male relative has had breast cancer, if any family member has had ovarian cancer, these are very well known risk factors for breast cancer. A screening recommendations should be based on your risk of breast cancer, not just on your density. You and your doctor are gonna talk about what is your family history? How high is your risk really? And then only with your doctor should you decide, should you get an ultrasound or an MRI? Don't forget that additional tests might either lead to false positive studies that lead to more testing or even a biopsy. So it's really, really important to work with your doctor and decide whether or not you need additional testing. Mammography is still the gold standard of breast cancer screening. It's the only test that has been shown in large randomized trials to lower breast cancer mortality. So there's no recommendation that mammography should be replaced. Here at Stanford, we understand that every woman is unique and we will use every technology and the best imaging available on the planet in order to help us and you go through this together. For women who are seeking evaluation and or treatment recommendations for breast disease and or breast cancer, we are happy to serve as a resource for you in any way possible. Half of women who get mammograms are categorized as dense, according to the California legislation. So there will be a lot of women in your life who receive this letter. So if you find this information helpful, please share this video with your friends and family.